Woohoo hoo hoo! Woo everyone, this is the OG in the house coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time, absolutely a great time to be alive, guys. And hopefully, you guys are feeling a lot better out there. And uh, we can see that uh, we got the we got the Dino, the Dino, the Dino in the house, and also the alien. I have convinced the alien uh, to stay with us. Uh, as we see that the, right now, we're seeing that uh, you know crypto is looking a bit better than where it was uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, next week. Uh, I mean, this week with this. Next week, if you're in the U.S., and uh, this week, if you're in uh, Asia right now, uh, this week is going to be pretty critical for uh, you know crypto markets, and we're going to see if this uh, greenish green will continue, or are we going to be going down? So we're going to be hearing from uh, Yellen the felon and her uh, take on uh, you know inflation, what we're going to see for the rest of the year. Also, we could be seeing uh, you know 20, 75 basis points increase in July for cryptocurrency out, uh, not for cryptocurrency, 75 basis point uh, rate rake rate hike i can't say rate 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 hike rate hike i can't i just can't say that I, those two words i got what's going on with me so we could be seeing that the fed's going to be increasing the interest rates uh, to 75 basis points uh, also Interesting news. Looks like uh, looks like uh, uh, Celsius could be getting some help, and maybe we're gonna, they're going to get a bailout, and uh, this could definitely help uh, to uh, relax and uh, you know make a lot of people hold again because you know still a lot of crypto holders uh, on Celsius are still unable to withdraw or transfer any of their crypto. So that is not good from that perspective, guys and gals. So we got lots to talk about. Uh, yesterday we had the Dogecoin, Elon Musk, uh, you know, tweet that was really, really, uh, you know, from the heart. That was a really important tweet for the Doge community that uh, caused, uh, you know, Dogecoin to go up 8%. So that is pretty good from that perspective. So right now at the time of recording, we're seeing that right now BTC is just, just gingerly below uh, $20,000. So that is pretty good from that perspective. We're seeing that Ethereum is uh, still holding above $1,000. And guys, can you imagine, you know, like two, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, Ethereum was up over two thousand dollars can you believe it how how low that uh, ethereum has dropped it's just amazing guys i know a lot of you your portfolios uh, are not looking too good and you know you guys are feeling you know wipey wiped out hey and then, did i forget to mention that none of this is financial advice it's just the og in the house expressing his opinion i'm trying to bring the updated news and updates for you guys out there and you know i can see that uh you know i've been, i'm just looking at all of the uh crypto youtuber influencers out there the creators whatever you want to call them and i see that there's a lot of uh a lot of youtube channels are just kind of like gone dormant or they're not producing content anymore so from that perspective i just want to assure you uh you know even if i only have one person watching my videos i'm still going to create content out there for the community still going to update you still going to give you the, the thrills the spills and the laughs guys and i just got to also remind you i'm not a licensed financial advisor uh this video is only for educational purposes only and uh guys let's jump into the content let's go down the crypto rabbit hole together uh if you take a look at the heat heat map Bang, the heat map right now we're seeing that everything is green 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 and that is why we got dino the dino in in the show with us right now alien is staying on planet earth for now uh elon musk was trying to kidnap and send to mars but uh he's decided to stay with og and the daily crypto trade signal family out there so if you're loving this content like i love you guys don't forget to smash the likes boop the likes for humans and subscribe yb yb and if you don't want to that's also fine guys you know you're going to be missing out on some great content don't forget to turn on the uh, bell notification and that way you'll keep updated with all the greatest videos that's coming out so overall we're seeing the heat map is looking good you guys should be pretty happy about that ethereum is up over 11 percent we're still seeing that the uh, fear and greed is up right now it's uh you know gone up from six to nine so that's pretty good and six was the lowest i've ever seen absolutely the lowest i've ever seen coffee time so you know and uh, i've got some also interesting news that uh, you know uh, binance binance bought a ton of uh, a ton of bitcoin yesterday we're going to talk about that so right now you see that the you know bitcoin rainbow chart uh, is basically it's a fire sale bitcoin and i must say bitcoin is on sale it's a fire sale and we're seeing that uh, you know a lot of uh, binance just bought a huge dip we're going to talk about that so right now we're seeing that bitcoin is above the uh, 21 the, uh, the above the 19,600 level so that is a level that we need to keep and that is a level we need to hold guys and uh you know if we can keep holding that then that's uh, definitely going to be sending us up to uh, twenty one thousand dollars soon so hopefully hopefully this will be the reversal you know this could be some volatility some bouncing up and down but i'm really hoping that the nineteen thousand six hundred dollar level will hold now there has been a lot of talk out there there's been a lot of people saying 
and speculating that uh, Bitcoin could drop below $10,000. Well, all I got to say to those people is, yeah, it's possible. Anything is possible in uh, crypto space. You know, who would have guessed that, uh, you know, Luna and Doquan, who would have guessed that that project would end up being a huge rug pull and a tank, guys. So nobody nobody guessed that. No one thought that that, that was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it happened. Uh, who would have thought that uh, Celsius would be, uh, you know, uh, stopping withdrawals? anybody's guess so is it impossible that uh, bitcoin goes down to ten thousand no about where we are right now right now we're at the previous uh previous bull cycles all-time high guys so we're just at those same levels you know the previous bull cycle all-time high is around uh, nineteen thousand five hundred twenty thousand so we're right there we're absolutely right there again guys so from that perspective you know it is what it is. Bitcoin could go down to 10,000. What I'm going to be doing is I ain't panicking. And, you know, there's some clear evidence out there, out there right now. You can see that Binance uh, buys a dip and adds 100, 101,000 uh, Bitcoin. And so you can see here from Binance's wallet, you can see right here that yesterday they bought the dip guys and they bought uh, they bought it they bought bitcoin at nineteen thousand one hundred seventy six dollars so from that perspective uh they spent 1.9 1.9 billion dollars guys 1.9 billion dollars guys can you believe it 1.9 million let me get that bigger 1.9 billion dollars so definitely this is a good example of uh you know buying the dip guys and i i think that you know maybe the bottom is not in now but we're definitely closer to the bottom than we are uh, all-time highs from that perspective so uh binance looks like they believe that we're getting pretty close to the bottom or have hit the bottom guys so from that perspective let's get into it let's take a listen to what uh, uh, janet yellen has to say about uh about uh you know inflation we're gonna get that and get to that in a minute looks like bnk to the future ceo offers support for celsius lender and draws up recovery plan so it looks like uh, bnk to the future that's the name of the company by the way uh looks like they're going to be drawing up a recovery plan so it looks like simon nixon is going to be the superman that's uh coming into the fold and he's going to be uh, you know he's uh, going to be lending some money uh, some cryptocurrency and Bitcoin because uh, you know Simon he's a big uh, Bitcoin maxi uh, he uh, you know he definitely helped out with the Bitfinex collapse and uh, you know he looks like he's going to be pouring some liquidity into Celsius so this is good news hopefully Celsius will get their withdrawals back on guys and gals so I'm really looking forward to that and really hoping for that guys keep keep we still got to hear from uh, Janet Yellen in the house about inflation so this is also coming in right now. Looks like Dogecoin pumps after Elon Musk says he is still buying, guys. So, you know, the Elon Musk, the Doge father out there, he's showing support and love for us. So that is pretty good. That was a huge catalyst. And I absolutely did not expect that. I did not expect that from Elon Musk. Uh, and uh, that is great news and very positive news out there from that perspective. So let's, say, let's take a look at uh, what's going on right now. So right now, as I said, in July, expect 75 basis point uh, the rate hike uh, and the interest rates are going to be going up. So let's listen to what uh, Janet Yellen has to say about inflation out there. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen also issued the warning that unacceptably high inflation is now locked in for the rest of the year. Take a listen. Well, we've had inf high inflation in the first half of this year, and um, that locks in high inflation really for the entire year. But I do expect in the months ahead that the pace of inflation um, is, is likely to come down. Although, remember, there are so many uncertainties um, relating to global developments. Mag All right, so, you know, basically what, uh, what, uh, you, what Yelena is saying is that Inflation will continue for the whole year, uh, but she's saying that you know with the you know the inflation will slowly taper down and come down. So let's hope that these uh, interest rate hikes uh, are going to definitely help uh, you know the whole broader markets in the crypto space out there. So I'm hoping it. I'm definitely hoping that it's going to happen. But you can see that Binance is still buying the dips. We got Celsius maybe Celsius maybe uh, bailed out. Uh, by Simon out there. So if these things uh, culminate and happen, this will definitely help uh, put uh, more positive sentiment in the market and things should start be going uppity up, up, guys. So from that perspective, you guys can see here right now that uh, investors have locked in the largest USD uh, realized losses. So we're seeing a lot of losses and those are not only short-term holders, but also long-term holders did capitulate a little bit last week and we saw more and more selling, guys. So from that perspective, you know, hopefully that the selling pressure is over and that things are going to definitely be going uppity up, up, guys. So from that perspective. And so, you know, Bitcoin long and short-term holders supply and profit. So right now we're seeing 
that uh, with Bitcoin prices trading at a lower end of 2021, 2021, 22 range, almost all investors of this cycle are now holding in unrealized losses. So just 2.2% of short-term holders are in profit. So basically everybody is in profit right now. So we're seeing that, uh, you know, right now short-term holders uh, is around about 29.8%. Uh, Long-term all holders equal about 68.5% of the total of the total amount of Bitcoin that's being held right now. So today we're seeing that 2.2% uh, of, uh, you know, short-term holders are, are in the profit and only about 55.7% of uh, long-term Bitcoin holders are in profit right now. So realized losses are definitely very high right now. And from that perspective, the long-term holders are still holding. I mean, they did capitulate a little bit over this week. We did see more and more long-term holders did capitulate and did sell. But we saw that over 2.2 billion worth of Bitcoin leaves exchanges. So as hodlers stick with the BTC through thick and thin. So this is just more and more evidence out there that long-term holders and the conviction is still very high, guys. So I'm not giving up. You shouldn't be giving up out there. So I'm still pretty bullish out there from, from my perspective. I'm still holding. I'm still dollar cost traffic. I'm still buying guys so long-term holders uh, supply declined by uh, 178,000 bitcoin or 1.31 percent of the total so we saw about 1.31 percent of uh, long-term holders did capitulate uh this week and they did sell guys but we're just still seeing that you know two billion uh dollars worth of bitcoin is still pretty much uh, been taken off exchanges and that just goes to show that we're seeing more and more conviction guys so i i'm still i'm still bullish long term absolutely bullish long term we're definitely closer to the bottom than we are to the highs guys so from that perspective it's okay guys uh keep positive so we're seeing uh, you know the uh, short-term holders also took a uh, heavy losses as well so we're seeing short-term holders uh took heavy losses as well you can see here and this was you know the march crash it's still not at the same levels as the covid crash but they did take heavy losses so we're seeing that big Bitcoin miners are starting to sell, but you know there's still majority of their Bitcoin is still is still being held, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the miners that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, they're not selling. So we are still we are seeing a little bit of minor capitulation, but overall it's just a small fraction of the total amount of Bitcoin that's been uh, been uh, being hold, held by miners, guys. And we are seeing the hash rate going down. Uh, other things that we're seeing right now is that we're seeing that the profit and loss return bans long-term holders uh, to exchange in 30-day multiple. So we're seeing that uh, you know long-term holders uh, basically a 0.0125 of market cap in losses. So we are seeing that you know more long-term holders are in the in in loss zone right now. Now you know Shark Tank Kevin O'Leary did say yesterday that you know why a wipeout of large digital asset firms is great for crypto yeah you know what we're seeing right now is we're seeing a lot of crypto firms that have been poorly managed have bad risk management they're being wiped out and this is really good is cleaning up the whole space uh, you know we're also seeing a lot of the poo poo matter coins uh, being uh, wiped out so what it's doing it's really a whole flush out of all the, the all of all the stupid and uh, poorly managed projects out there so this is going to be good and then when we go into the next uh, bull run which you know could be happening this year uh, we're going to see a much a much cleaner and a much nicer space out there so let's take a look at Bitcoin right now again so Bitcoin right now is uh, uh, right now it is but still below the 200 day weekly moving average and it's trading at $19,969. And it's still above my $19,600 support level. So hopefully that will hold. Uh, if you take a look at Bitcoin on the four hour, like I said, it's still looking pretty good right now. Uh, we did hit a high on the four hour of around about 19,000, uh, sorry, 20,634. We have dropped down about a thousand bucks. We're still holding our 19,600 support level. So that is pretty good hopefully we can hold that uh if we take a look at the bitcoin on the weekly right now we definitely need to get ourselves uh, i'd like to see ourselves getting back into blue box and remember we were back we were in the blue box uh on the only on the 6th of june guys so not too long ago so hopefully we get a recovery and see ourselves going back up there uh if you take a look at ada right now ada is just going sideways at uh, 46 cents 47 cents in the house right now for dozier washer is uh still below six cents we did get a high uh, yesterday when we had the elon musk pump we did get it goes high as six uh, six uh, 0628 uh, we'll come down a little bit from that and hopefully that we will get some recovery and hopefully Elon Musk will, will say something else uh, to us and that will definitely uh, help pump up the Dogecoin that would be really uh, appreciated and anticipated and right now we're seeing the Bitcoin dollars is uh, coming down a little bit so that is pretty good it's at 44.36 uh, we're seeing right now that the uh, DXY is still too high at 104 we're seeing the amount of leverage let me give this a minty refresh for you out there 
you know, hip hop is good, the pop is. So we're seeing right now $315 million worth of uh, leverage apes have been wrecked out there. And we're seeing about 85,000 traders have uh, lost, their, lost their money, guys. We're seeing that the longs, we're seeing a lot of longs picking up right now. So the market is betting that Bitcoin is going to go up. So this could put some downward pressure on Bitcoin. And we're seeing right now Ethereum. Ethereum is uh, basically just going sideways, doing a crabby walk right now. And I think next week is going to be very important for crypto. And this is going to be make it or break it. We're either going to see uh, you know a nice recovery. We're going to see Bitcoin get above uh, twenty thousand five hundred. We're going to see uh, Ethereum get above twelve hundred. If it doesn't, then we're going to be seeing ourselves collapse into the bottoms again, the bottoms of depths of hell out there. So from that perspective, guys, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we're seeing that the you know uh, the uh, crypto market cap uh, was above. Of, uh, 900 uh, billion but it slipped down again to eight eight hundred eighty nine billion the Bitcoin the uh, the uh, 24 hour volume is pretty low and we're seeing the Bitcoin dollars is also going down a little bit so that's pretty good let's take a look at the total carnage in the house right now so we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is up 7.37 percent 24 hours so that is good guys absolutely good we're seeing ethereum is up 10.49 uh, percent so that is good we're seeing BNB is up 6.54 percent we're seeing ADA is up five percent we're seeing Solana is up five percent and doja woes are up a whopping 11.28 percent guys so things are looking pretty good uh most of all coins are green right now so hopefully this will continue i do wish it will continue guys and gals do go follow me on my twitter guys don't forget to boop the like subscribe and show some love with some super chats and super stickers out there i would appreciate it don't forget to get the merchy merch get the merch gear up with og gear get the mug get the cap to cap i love it you love it guys so i want to say god bless each and every one of you i love it you love it and uh guys let's keep the keep the peace keep the faith keep loving god keep loving each other and spread the good vibes i'll see you the next one around about 8 p.m tonight uh this is a quickie quickie update you know people are buying the dips you should be buying the dips guys and don't forget as i said in the previous videos move your crypto from centralized exchanges onto hardware wallets or software wallets do that right now guys uh because if we have any exchanges that collapse and your crypto's on there you're going to lose your crypto guys so guys peace out